Hello everybody, I'm Jimmy Fantastic and this is my thoughts on the new Amazon team. Uh, it's been a while, so I probably should have made this already, but you know, a few people have asked for it, but uh, there's not a lot to say to be honest, which is why I guess I uh, haven't done it yet, but uh, let's have a look at the team. Um, the, the problem is they're like, they've made, they've taken the most boring one-dimensional team in Blood Bowl and made them more boring and one more one-dimensional. Um, Lyman have stayed pretty much the same here, as you can see. Um, Eight pluses, you know, used to be armor seven, so there's, there's still six three three seven essentially. Um, with dodge, they've lost obviously lost passing access on secondaries as they would, so you just give them block or wrestle, and they're finished. Uh, of course, now what you can do if without redrafts or even with redrafts, I guess potentially, you can save up after block or wrestle and then give them armor, so they can they can. Uh, it's only ten k, right? So they can get plus armors, uh, which is interesting. The throwers are terrible, um, first of all because they're throwers, <laughs> second of all, uh, to be fair the on the ball is is alright, like they're better than they used to be, on the ball is, is a decent enough skill for a thrower, like you know, a, a, a lineman kind of player, they haven't got a 2 plus passing like human throwers, so you know they're not actually that good at passing, um, they do get passing access on primary, so they could get leader. But they're just, you know, they're not worth it. They're still not worth it. As good as on the ball is, safe throw, safe passes, totally useless. Um, and don't have show hands or anything. Uh, the Piranha Warrior Blitzers is a fancy name for a terrible positional. They have move seven, which is nice. Okay, they've, they've got a different stat line. They've finally got a different stat line. Way, hey. But, um, you know, they don't have block. They've got dodge, hit and run, jump up. They don't have strength access. So, uh, and primary. So... You know, they've lost their access, they've lost the starting skill, and instead they've got jump up, which is basically useless, and hit and run, which uh, I can show you the skill here. It's, uh, you know, it does something. Um, as it's written, a blitz is comprised of a move and a block action, so you could you could use it with a blitz as, it, as it's written. Um, so you could use free square of move after you block somebody as long as they're not marked or marking so if you've got us like the, what what you can potentially do is you can potentially build a one turner with them they can score in one turn um, without any pushes required you could give them two plus movements and sprint and then they could potentially blitz and then use their hit and run to get the tenth square but um, that's so niche and only in formats without redraft and they're just they're just a terrible player for 90k. I would I would never pick one ever. And then we've got the the Jaguar Warrior blockers, which are actually amazing. Th these are quite possibly the best player in the game. I mean, they're not as good to start with as a war dancer, of course. But on one skill, they've got block, dodge, and they're like a star player. Um, you know, if you if you think of Carla Von Kill, yes. She's got jump up, but that's hardly anything. Yes, she's got dauntless, but she's already strength four. So that's almost nothing. So you uh, on Zara the Slayer as well. So you're talking six four three eight is is the uh, is the old stat line, new stat line. That's nine plus, of course. And they've got defensive for free. So like these are just unbelievable players, unbelievably powerful. Um, you could just go block and then stats, or you can go block and guard and stats, or block and tackle and stats. But um, the stats are obviously, you know, and when you redraft, you just redraft your blockers and don't even, but like maybe it's one or two linemen, but you just you just redraft blockers and have godlike blockers. Like with stats, how unbelievable do they get, you know? They're like, they're way better than uh, bull centaurs, for example, because a bull set, like, you know, a bull centaur needs block and break tackle to be effective, and these have already got, and then dodge, and these have already got dodge, so they just need block, so they need one skill instead of three. And they've got defensive, and then they just get more and more stats. Like they can get edge four, uh, well edge two plus, and then they're unbelievable. And they can just get like you know strength ups, move ups, even armor ups are fine. They're just they're unbelievably good players to get stats on. And you could take tackle and you know just block and tackle and uh, have two really mobile, godlike pieces. And then the re rolls have gone up to sixty k, which is. Which is needed, you know. So the thing with Zons is they were they were way too powerful at low TB, and then they got uh, they got wrecked once people got Mighty Blow Tackle, and pile, Mighty Blow Tackle Pom specifically piling on as well. Now, of course, n nobody will get piling on, but p 
mighty blow and tackle will be like even more prevalent. So uh, so yeah, that's pretty that's pretty brutal. How much mighty blow uh, tackle is going to be? There's going to be more mighty blow tackle than ever, just because there's no other skills to give killers. And uh, yeah, they've they've actually they've actually become more one dimensional because at least you had four blitzers and seven linemen. Now you just have nine linemen and two blockers. And that's all I would take. I would just take nine linemen, two blockers, one or two re-rolls, and then spend your money on star players. You know, so you could have Carlos, so you could have three six, four, three, eight blodgers uh, very rapidly. I mean, you know, obviously you're gonna score all your touchdowns on your blockers and get them blocked as soon as possible. And then they, they just become godlike. Or you could get this new Estelle uh, star player, which People are interpreting as ridiculously overpowered. Now, whether there'll be an official uh, FAQ or a NAF ruling or whatever that confirms how overpowered it is, um, I don't agree with how everyone else is reading it. But, you know, I'm just one person on the internet, so there you go. My opinion doesn't really matter. I think they're all wrong and foolish for thinking it's as overpowered as it is. But, you know, if that's the way the rules are read, then, then it, it, she will be OP. Um, I don't think the snake is very good. I don't think Glottal Stop is very good. So basically, my choices would be Carla or uh, potentially Zug and potentially Estelle, depending on how it's ruled. So yeah, I think I think that's just the way to build them. It's sad, isn't it? They've literally made them more more boring, more one-dimensional. But the, the blockers are really good. So you know, who knows? They might be more powerful overall um, with two god-tier players. So there you go. There's my Amazon team. Um, I might go in a bit more, you know, talk about a bit more with some other people and stuff, and uh, come up with you know maybe some more videos to do with this. More videos in general because I think I'm going to be playing less Blood Bowl, too. So I might be making more YouTube content than Twitch. So there you go. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.